So for today, we're going to be looking at what Ada has to offer, and we're going to be looking at the armor and the shaders as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, let's just get into it. So the first shader is going to be Vetrified Chronology. This is a pretty okay shader if it's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, I think this is the one with the purple glow, which is pretty, pretty cool. I would definitely say you should pick this up because it is from Season of Dawn, which is pretty old. Dawn? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Either way, it's from the same 14 season, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, it's fine. Blue, brown, and silver. For the next one, it's going to be Echoes of Io Worn. Definitely pick this one up because this one um, usually isn't sold or it was not sold ever until like a few seasons back. And then we started getting it in the rotation. So this one is definitely worth a pickup just because it is rare. And then War Cult Scheme. I personally really like this shader. Um, you can go different routes. You can go for like, for example, for me, I think the white and like blue purple are really well together. So that's probably the color. Uh, that I would go for but then you got you also do have this really cool like chrome gold which I really really like so for me I probably would try to find an armor set that, that didn't have the gold and then another set that has like the gold in there so that way I can have both worlds because I do think this gold is super dope but in this set I think just pure pure white and the blue purple would be better for this so definitely pick up those shaders I definitely think at least war cult scheme and echoes of IO are definitely worth a pickup vitrified chronology it's it's fine like if honestly it's only 30 30 000 glimmer and i know i said only but you can you can literally go buy some from from master raul if you have resources legendary shards meaning but i definitely would still recommend it as for the armor sets i'm gonna be real with you guys i can't see the titans or the warlocks but uh <clears throat> actually let's just uh let's just go here because i actually don't remember the titans or warlock um ornaments or the the armor set those specific ones uh, i know the hunters because i like the hunter set quite a bit oh i think i know for the titans it's gonna be the yeah it's gonna be the yeah, yeah this one this one this one's super dope and then for the warlock it's gonna be the okay yeah i remember so i'm gonna have them up right now i definitely like the warlock's chest piece i think that's really really cool the boots can be used if you're going for like a militaristic look because uh, it's just boots. I think the helmet and the arms and the bond are like probably the worst pieces just because the, the bond kind of boring, arms kind of boring, and then the helmet. If you don't have it, I would suggest it just because it is a more unique one. That being said, there is some reskins for that helmet. So if you don't like that one specifically, you can get some other ones. For the Titan, I legitimately love damn near all the pieces of this i think the arms are amazing the boots are amazing as well chest piece is fine definitely fine i much prefer a bulkier chest piece the helmet definitely really cool because you can actually change the color of the helmet i say this because there's other helmets that specifically this one that are reskin specifically let me just show you real quick what i'm talking about there is i know i'm not crazy um i hope yeah this one so this one doesn't change the silver if i remember correctly which is why i'm like i'm really happy yeah it doesn't change the silver but if you want one that actually does change the helmet color you're definitely gonna want this one because it's the same helmet um it's just that you can change the color of it yeah see so that's why i say it's really good because you can actually change the color of it the other one that i was thinking of is actually not here it's this one this is the other one that i was thinking of this one you can't also change the color of it it's going to be that green color so that's why i say that helmet is really cool because if you like that helmet then that one you can change the color let me put the armor back up so you guys can see it um the mark is the only thing that i'm really disappointed in just because it's not that great hunters i'm gonna be real with you um i think the chest piece is really good i think the helmet is really good and the arms are definitely serviceable. The only thing I don't like is the boots. And it's funny because it's a risk. It's a reskin of the EDZ set. And that one I actually do like. But the reason is because the end cure suit boots, the bandages at the bottom don't change color specifically on the right side. That one doesn't change color. That's why I'm not the biggest fan of it. And then the cloak is fine. It's not that bad, but I personally just don't really care for it too much. But that's pretty much it let me know what you guys are going to be picking up i personally really like a few pieces from each of the classes i definitely would pick those up the ones that i mentioned but 
let me know what you guys think i will be having a bunch of content for you guys a bunch of fashion related content that's what i mean i mean that's my channel mostly now but i will try to make more content related to destiny 2 and some non-destiny 2 related content as well i am trying just because i really want to do it but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later